welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be creating a fall slash Halloween nail design using knot polish candy coated number 1011 and it's a brown sheer color which I absolutely love and I can't wait for you guys to see how I created this look I did leave my application um, at regular speed I did not speed it up or anything so yeah so here I am applying my tips and I'm just going to show you guys how I do that but I did speed up the remainder of me applying my tips and I like to hold my fingers away from me to put my tips on as you can see so that way I can get my alignment correct sometimes it's hard to get it correct if I have my fingers facing me or have it face it sideways and I found that this um, method helped a lot so here is the color that we're using is CC 1011 to the taste and it was to the taste <laughs> um, I usually don't do a lot of talking in my videos but I'm gonna be trying something different today. I will be quiet um, at some point for the application portion because I want you guys to really enjoy that, enjoy seeing how I do my application and everything. So I am laying down my first bead. It's kind of a little difficult for me to turn my pinky finger towards me to lay down my first bead so sometimes I try and sometimes I don't I find it way easier this way for me um, I know a lot of people do it facing them and they do it like magic but I think I did turn my finger to uh, facing me when I applied my my second or third bead um, but yeah so I'm just going to go ahead and have you guys watch as I do my application and I will definitely chime in from here to there to just, you know, do a follow up on what I'm doing in my video. So one thing I would like to mention before I forget, when you are working with sheer colors and clear acrylic powders, um, I recommend that you put the beads on wet. Um, you keep your brush wet as well while you're smoothing out the application. Because one thing I've found, when you put down a clear or a sheer color and you put it down dry you end up with bubbles and if you want that crystal clear no bubble effect in your application I recommend that you do it wet This is me building my apex. You will see me do this a lot throughout this video and it's very much recommended that you have a very good apex so that the nail does not break easily.
you know, a lot of people talk about um, application and how many beads they use per application. And some people are like, I use one, some use two, some say it doesn't matter for me, it doesn't matter. I can use 10 beads to do my application because I do take my time and I do like to create my structure um, diligently to make sure that I have minimal filing in the end. Um, I don't really recommend uh, going for one bead. Um, but um, if you're pro at it, then kudos to you. Um, but I do say, you know, do as many beads as you need to get your nails done. And it doesn't even take away that much time from you when you're doing the application as such.
I am very gentle with my touches. I am not trying to wipe off most of the acrylic. I'm actually trying to keep a lot of the acrylic on the finger. So, you know, if you have really good acrylic powders, you don't need to be rough. You can be very gentle, just smoothing and molding it through on your nail. application is crisp <laughs> I am in love with how these came out so far but let's get right into the thumb
And now we're done with the application. I did take out the filing and shaping portion of this video. I didn't think you guys want to sit through 12 minutes of me filing and shaping my nails. So I removed that portion. I will be putting it up as an ASMR um, later on sometime this week. Um, but yeah, and I am happy with how the application came out. This is after filing and shaping and cleaning the nails off. As you can see, it's, they're beautiful. Mwah! Chef's kiss. <laughs> so now we're gonna get into the nail art portion of this video. And I will say all the charms that I used in this video will be listed in the description box with a link if you want to purchase them. I did get them from AliExpress. Let me put that out there. Um, I think I might have gotten something the flowers from Timu or Shein, but um, once I get around to doing the, 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 the description stuff and all that, uh, it will be there for you to go directly to it and make a purchase and all that stuff if you need to. Um, I did speed through the remainder of me deciding what I want to use and everything. But yeah, I'll go ahead and let you guys finish. Watch me do all of this. nut polishes um, um, glitter effects and their gel liner as well to create um, lines on the nails and yeah enjoy guys actually seen people use napkins um, or just nothing I recommend using the cap if you can especially if it's big enough so that way you can capture as much of the glitter as possible and you can pour it back into your container with ease the other option is foil like the kitchen foil the foil you buy for your kitchen to um, cover certain things that's another recommendation I have or if you have something that's laminated you can also use that because you want to use something that is not going to um, hold a lot of the glitter um, on them like a napkin or a towel or something that will hold a lot of the glitter and your um, objective is to 
put a lot of the glitter back into your container so those are my recommendations for that and I did speed up the remainder of this portion because I am doing it on every single finger and I don't think you need to watch that in real time for every finger but yeah here we go So I did cure each finger as I go and once I completed every single finger I went ahead and cured in my big lamp for a full minute. Um, you normally you need like 30 seconds but since it's black I did a full minute.
So once I got all the charms on, I went ahead and cured for a full minute in the big lamp. Um, and then I went in and did my top coat, as you will see. And now with all the charms on, I am absolutely in love with these nails. I did not want to take these off. If you don't know, I do use Jello Jello to create my nail designs and then take them off once I've completed them, um, just so I can keep bringing content to you guys. And yeah, I did not want to take these off, but let's go ahead and get into top coating. Now I couldn't decide between regular top coat shiny top coat or matte top coat but I went ahead and did the shiny top coat and um, what I really want to say is that it is highly recommended that you top coat before you do what I did here where I put my lines on with the glitter and then my charms especially when you have so much going on in your artwork it's best to just do your top coat and then go in with your nail art um, I did not do that, but there's ways around that as you can see you just need to grab a couple of the brushes That will help you navigate around your nail art so you do not get any top coat on it So I'll just go ahead and let you guys watch I did speed up the remainder of this and yes I did top coat underneath the nail as well because for sheer colors I highly recommend top coating underneath the nail so that you can get a very good translucent look when you're looking at your nails but here we go Thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe leave a comment below let me know your thoughts on these design let me know what you love about it um, any recommendations you have in regards to it as well and follow me on Instagram as well guys my link is in my bio and I will see you guys in the next video